guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Fucks Given Crew. Um, first off, I just want to thank you guys for your comments. Um, it's really beautiful to see the masculines coming out and expressing themselves. Um, and, you know, the, the love and support that I'm getting from you guys is just giving me so much strength within myself to keep going on this journey. Okay, so um, I love you guys. You mean the world to me. Okay, um, so what should we do here? What should we do? Let's do a split divine partnership. Okay, so let me pull the cards first and then we'll go through the positions. So you can fast forward through this part if you want to. Let's move this down a bit. bottom of the deck and let's see I think we'll shuffle my smaller deck here all right so let's start with let's mix things up a little bit let's start with the overall energy I usually leave this to the last the hermit so this is going to be, uh, you know, a Divine Masculine reading from February 4th until the 11th, okay? So the overall energy during the time period is the Hermit. So this is detaching from the 3D reality, going on a spiritual journey, uh, finding questions, or finding answers to, you know, philosophical questions. Um, you know, you're discovering your light within, you're enjoying solitude. Um, so this could mean that you're either coming out of this solitude space or you're, mo you're moving into it. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Um, you know, I usually start with, you know, how the masculine feels about the relationship, but I'm almost tempted to kind of mix things up a little bit. Let's go to the past position, okay? So what energy are you coming into the reading with? Wow, King of Cups. So this is somebody who feels love very deeply. We got... Um, Kurt Cobain here, right? so he loves so much that it hurt, but at the same time, this is a balanced energy. He's part air and part water, so um, he's not emotionally manipulated by people. So I feel the masculine has really come into the heart space, and they're making decisions from the heart. Um, they're allowing their heart to guide them. Pull three cards. Tower. Wow. 11 11 card again. Wow. The King of Cups. So, you guys had the 11 11 card um, show up in the past position. Um, it, it showed up as the Four of Wands, but it also showed up again in the heart space for the Twin Flame Union. So, the Tower was actually showing up twice in the future. So, you know, the tower is a sudden disruption, right? It tears down those illusions, those falsehoods, those things that you're holding on to that no longer serve you. So it, you know, it happens whether you like it or not, comes in, changes your reality. So you maybe made some major realizations in the past and you're, you're allowing yourself to be transformed for the sake of, a, of the 11-11 connection. Right, so for the Twin Flame reading, the main card in the past was the Eight of Cups. Right, so this is letting go, moving on, you know, not being manipulated by your emotions, right? So this double uh, King of Cups energy is kind of further um, strengthening that idea that you are not manipulated, that you are, 
giving love unconditionally, regardless of what happened in the past. Um, and you will continue to be in this, this energy in the future. All right, this beautiful, unconditional love, unwavering, so much mental clarity that goes along with it as well. Truth, you know, true love wins. All right, so let's jump to what are you resisting? Eight of Swords. Feminine got this in the past position. You're getting a Nine of Swords in the near future. So I was kind of feeling that you guys were resisting and letting go of negative thoughts, right? Um, the final outcome is you guys are actually coming out of that. The Ten of Swords was actually in the heart space as well for the Twin Flame reading. So putting an end to negative thoughts. You're resisting doing that. So this is an oppressive energy coming from the outside that's making you feel, um, you, know, you know, like you're trapped, right? So you are feeling love unconditionally, but there's still some mental noise that keeps creeping in, right? The King of Cups um, thinks with his heart, not with his mind. Even though there is a mental balance there with the emotions, there's still, he still makes choices and decisions based on his emotions and, and you know, his heart. So, the Four of Cups, King of Wands, and Karmic Justice. So, past position, Four of Cups, disconnect, boredom, feeling like things aren't moving. So, this could be you also turning it back on a situation. Okay, so this card also talks about missed opportunities as well. Um, the message from the universe was, you know, to, not to wait to act on this, this feeling. So the masculine has been in an energy of feeling trapped, feeling like he can't do anything about it, feeling like life is going on without him, feeling helpless, hopeless. Um... Not hopeless, because remember the star card showed up in the masculine's past position, so there is a sense of hope there, but it has to do with he's healing himself. Um, the king of wands in the present position could represent a um, fire sign, you know, but again, it's accompanied by the air quality of kings, which is mental clarity. Uh, so he is, you know, and the king of wands showed up in the foundation, I believe. Yes. Um... So there's a sense that you felt empowered in the past, that you, um, you know, you felt like a leader, you, 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 people were drawn to you, you felt, you know, like you were able to express your cre creativity, you wanted to change the world, um, fire is passion, creativity, drive, um, it is also spiritual spirituality as well. So there's a sense that there's this fire, this flame that is burning beneath the surface. You're not your your potential is not fully realized yet. You know, it's in your resisting position. So you're resisting coming out of the mind. You're resisting really stepping into um, this fiery, passionate energy. The future position is the karmic justice card. Justice is balance. You know the um, whatever you did in the past will come back to you in a good way. Justice will be served, okay? So you're feeling that maybe you made some decisions that, you know, in the past that made you feel locked, um, you know, that you didn't have any respite or any release from that energy. Um, but in the future, there will be justice served. You will be released from that mental prison, from that feeling of disconnectedness and loneliness. And, you know, um, you don't know what you got till it's gone kind of feeling, right? So 11, justice, that karmic energy will be rebalanced again. There will be balance. Okay, so let's go to how, you know, the present position. Let's do present position. Wow, the Ace of Wands. So this card showed up a couple times in the Twin Flame reading, once on the feminine side in the past and also at the foundation, right? And it was accompanied with the King of Wands. 
you know, I had this en this feeling of this ma very past um, powerful masculine energy in the past holding that wand, having that idea, that spark of inspiration, and feeling like he's about to take action. So the present position, um, you're getting, you feel like you're ready to move forward. You're getting the green light from spirit. So this could be a creative idea, or this could be actually starting a new life that's more aligned with your spiritual side, right? So we see all that 11, 11, and love, 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 and a realization with the tower um, that maybe you've been holding on to an illusion in the past, and now maybe it's, it's time to move forward, pursue the things that make you feel love, emotional, chakra the two of wands and the four of wands in the future oh my god so the sacral chakra showed up uh showed up for you guys in the past right the past uh future position so again another synchronicity coming in from the past you had that emotional blockage this has to do with your relationships this feeling of um you know, being able to express your emotions. This is also sexuality. Um, this is pleasure center. Your senses. So, I feel, you know, especially with the King of Cups coming in the future, as well as in the past, you're really getting in touch with your emotions. You want to feel pleasure. You want to feel love. And so that blockage was cleared, okay, there was a movement up to the solar plexus chakra in the future position. So that blockage is being cleared and it's being cleared because you feel like you're being, you know, those negative vibrations are being cleansed by the fire. Okay, because we got two more wands here. The, you know, we have the ace of, of wands as a major position card and then the two of wands in uh, the present present moment as a confirmation so there's this potential there that is expansive right so you when you look out that door you're seeing all the possibilities you're seeing things from a higher perspective but you're also seeing your connected connectedness right so this I see as you know that golden thread connecting to you to the divine as well as towards you know to your your twin flame and you also see that that kundalini or connection as well with the ace so you are ready for a new beginning you've cleared your emotional bullshit and now you're ready to really open up and see this new life this new vision um, and it has to do with you know your twin flame right the future position you're manifesting what you desire into reality true love Right, so this is a commitment. You know, on the, the 5D realm, there's a sense of this deep bond and commitment that is unbreakable. And, you know, this is also a manifestation of the union into the 3D reality as well. So, you know, it could literally mean that you guys are getting engaged, married, moving in together, what have you. But there's this go light and at this very moment expansion and then manifestation of your heart's desire. So let's go ahead and no, let's do what's in your external environment, the two of swords. Okay, so you had this card in the near future and decisiveness, you know, but it was coming after a trying time. You made a decision to walk away from <clears throat> something that was emotionally draining, but um, at the same time, you're still feeling conflicted, right? You're, you're still in that mental prison. You still need to make that decision to um, fully let the, pl the past be in the past. Now, this is your external environment, right? So what I was picking up in the Twin Flame reading was a lot of chaos, a lot of finger pointing, a lot of negative energy, not necessarily coming from the feminine, but you're just being surrounded by that. But through all that negative, you're, you, you're, you still see that Ace of Wands there, that spark, you know, and that light is keeping you on course. But, okay, so it's, it's an indecision. Let's see what the other cards are. So Magician, nice, Heart Chakra. 
Wow, the Ace of Wands again. So the Magician, past position, is a one, and then we got another one over here. So they're just using new beginnings. Okay, you got the Magician in the past position, I believe, as well. Or no, it was the present position. Um, present, present, I can't remember. You'll have to read it, watch the reading. But these cards are definitely linked to the Twin Flame reading I just did. Um, so the Magician is power focus, willpower, okay, so this is opening up your crown chakra, feeling that expansiveness, that connectedness with all, and from that, you know, this is a self-conscious mind, so it's from awareness, and that's what the whole Twin Flame reading was about, they had the, you guys had the Ace of Swords, which is awareness as an overall energy, so there's this, this crystal clarity, self-awareness, that is breaking through the darkness you're able to focus your attention on the 3d reality in order to make decisions but not only that but to manifest your dreams into reality so there is this powerful energy coming from the past you're not fully acting on the new beginning this is something that you you really want right it's a, it's a goal that isn't attained quite yet but it is definitely a powerful activation the heart chakra, wow, right, so all these, this love, you're, you're, you feel unconditional love for all in your environment, right, or you could be picking up on the, the, the feminine true love for you, how do I get there, what, you know, you already know which road to take and ultimately you were, but there's a sense that you're at a, a, a crossroads. Right, and so you're waiting for the light to turn green, and it will. Future position, same card in your present. So, what I see here is heart chakra, unconditional love. You're given the go light once again, or maybe you act on that decision, right? Um, and so, I just feel this this ball of energy continuing to build. what you started in the past is, is coming full circle again and you're thinking about it more and more and more what do you fear five of wands overcoming challenges and obstacles so maybe you feel that you don't have what it takes to overcome these challenges obviously you do you've been through hell and back um, you know, this is competition as well. Let's see what clarifiers are. Three of Swords, Ten of Cups, High Priest. Three of Swords, past position, heartbreak, pain. Um, the feminine's heart was broken, in, you know, in the past reading. And she's healing from that. And she's not allowing the past to deter her. You know, she's still in that conditional love space. Um... But, so, you know, this kind of goes along with the Tower, the Four of Cups there, that emotional blockage. Maybe you turned away from the feminine in order to protect yourself, but in that darkness there was illumination. So, but this scares you. You know, you're, you're afraid of facing those challenges. But ultimately, you want the Ten of Cups, that happily ever after, right? That, that feeling of the double... King of Cups and the Four of Wands, all these beautiful cards that are in the future. Um, so the Ten of Cups is harmony and peace at home, at work, in your romantic relationships. You want everybody to get along. You want to experience unconditional love. You don't want the past to affect your future. Um, but you feel that maybe there's some people out there that are challenging you, saying this this isn't real, this can't be real. You can't have that. And maybe you're, you're choosing to believe that it's true. So the future position is the High Priest card. Boom. Crown chakra, wide open, right? So this is either you embody the High Priest, that spiritual leader, Right, we were talking about that with the King of Wands. Um, that is that energy, uh, you know, a good 
kajillion times over. Uh, but this is also, you know, could be spiritual supports on like your twin flame community. Um, but being a guide to others as well, right? Learning from your past mistakes. Um, again, using those as stepping stones to reach higher levels of consciousness. And uh, unfortunately, it's only through deep, dark pain that you can actually find that illumination. So either you are stepping into that spiritual role or somebody comes to you to help you sort those thoughts out in your mind. Um, okay, so let's go to how you view the relationship with the feminine. <laughs> wow. So the feminine... Either you see her as a spiritual leader, but I'm really feeling that this is you. Um, especially with the wisdom card, the you know the uh, solitude philosopher card, as an overall energy, this is you seeking solid solitude in order to find that wisdom <clears throat> from within. And so you, the feminine is helping you embody this energy. You know, being that um, the light worker, right? Not kind of hiding in 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 you know in the shadows. You know, that's what I was feeling with this, this last full moon. Is is the masculine coming out, and they're they're coming out to to make me feel better. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, wow, that is so freaking awesome and sweet. But do it for yourself. You know, embody that energy, and really. Express yourself. Tell, you know, share your stories with other people. What have you learned in that solitude? Wow. Yin, High Priestess. Wow, Six of Cups. Holy shit balls. Okay, so past position. This card showed up in the past position as well, and then your future for the Twin Flame on your side. So Again, another synchronicity. You've met your twin flame. You know who that is. You know who makes you feel this way. Right? And that's what you want for the future. You want to be surrounded by love and passion and your your yin, your mere reflection. Um, so this is unconditional love. This card is also about manifestation. But you can see here this link, you know, is is helping you to be the best you that you can be. But also helping you to raise your consciousness you know, and also become that spiritual leader. Present position in how you view this relationship. You see her as the high priestess. Or this could be you also turning within, using your intuition, tapping into the subconscious mind, right? Those are the memories, your, your dreams. So there's a sense of you looking for answers. Um, and there are you know, quite philosophical questions. You're looking for, for, you know, we got this beautiful twin flame connection there. Maybe you're starting to do more research, um, but you're starting to make connections. You know, third eye chakra activated here, crown chakra activated as well. Now, what you what you're being guided to do, right? You're being drawn guided by your heart to the Four of Wands, to reunion, and you're using your intuition to guide you as well. As what well is this realization of this whole spiritual concept, right, of twin flames. But anyway, in the, the future position is the Six of Cups, so reunion, somebody from the past coming back, somebody from childhood. So, the, you know, the, the person that's coming back from the past is Yin. Or this could be you pursuing yin. You're being divinely guided. Right? Could so this could literally mean a reunion, right? Especially when we got that four of wands, uh, union in the 3D reality. Or this could just be an emotional connection with somebody that you've been thinking about. Right? There's wow. The the high priestess and high priest together. That's Wow. 
I'm so excited to do the, the feminine reading because I want to know how she sees the masculine. There was a lot of beautiful, loving energy coming from the feminine this week. Uh, okay, so what is your message from your higher self? Throat chakra, communicate. Say what's on your mind. Right, the, you're holding back, you're not fully expressing yourself here. You know, there's just so much that you want to say that you can't say. Um, so your higher self, you know, you're, you're, when you have those conversations with yourself, when you're alone, you know, the, this idea of, I need to say something, I need to communicate, I, I want to tell her how I feel, but being unable to do that, right, ultimately you get that green light and you, you know, you move forward and make that connection with her, but follow your intuition, right? It's the same energy as a high priestess. Your higher self is telling you to communicate, to open up. The five pentacles. Wow, the star card. And the nine of cups. Oh my god, another synchronicity. This showed up in the present future position for the feminine. Um, so past position, five of pentacles. Feeling disconnected, feeling alone feeling like nobody is there to help you. So again, the sense of darkness and destruction and chaos in the past, blockages, emotional blockages. All right, so that is being healed in the present. This card showed up in the past near future for the masculine, so this energy is another synchronicity of healing. You're coming out of that dark state and you're, you're healing your heart. Um, and this is hope for the future. So your higher self is saying, you know, look to the future. Be optimistic. The worst is over. You're not alone. But you need to open yourself up emotionally. So the Nine of Cups in the future position, oh my God, yeah, you have a lot to celebrate, don't you? Right? There's reunion, karmic energy coming, returning, the High Priest, Ace of Wands, Right. Nine of Cups is wish granted, and but it's celebrating love, being surrounded by friends and family, you know, dancing, party, that kind of thing. Um, so if you're able to communicate, you know, heal those broken bonds, then this connection, you know, this true love connection is coming towards you. Oh, come on, just stay. Move that over. All right, so let's go to message from the universe, page of swords. So this was showing up in the near future past for the feminine, or was it, I can't remember now. Um, but anyway, this is communication, communicating your thoughts. Um, this is also having ideas. Uh, but, you know, not only having the ideas, but actually acting, or, you know, finding clarity from those ideas and eventually acting on them. Um, so what I'm seeing here is speak your truth, communicate. The universe is telling you to communicate. Or, or you know, find that clarity of thought. Nine of Wands, Seven of Wands, and the Fool card. So past position, Nine of Wands. Uh, the wounded warrior, you passed the, fin the, you know, you've reached the finish line. Um, you've struggled a great deal to get to that point. You're tired, your body's aching. You don't know if you have enough energy in you to continue on this, this journey. Um, but this is a card saying that you do have that strength to give it a final push. <clears throat> so it's coming in the past. So something has ended, right? We got that big roaring ball of fire, um, that realization, um, and it, it created turmoil in your life and you needed to step up, right? And you did so. Now, the present position is the Seven of Wands. So 
this is a very de defensive energy. It's um, having competition around you, right? You, you've made it to the top, and, and now you've got to continue to exert that energy to stay at the top, right? So it's a very exhaustive energy here. You're giving so much of yourself that it's eventually it's going to um, culminate to the point where you collapse in exhaustion, right? Now, this could also mean that you didn't have the strength in order to, to express yourself. And so the universe is saying to stand up for yourself, right? Say the things that you want to say. Don't back down. And release whatever that is that Nine of Wands is in the past. Let it go. You know, cleave it with the Page of Swords. But I see a lot of uh, passionate expression here. Future position is the Fool card. <clears throat> so this is starting from zero, taking a leap of faith. No attachments, no expectations. So leave the past behind you. Cut it away. And begin anew. You know, if there are thoughts that continue to pull you back in and that are keeping you from making that decision to move forward, um, the, the thing to do is just be in the now, be in this moment, right? Be the full. See the, the future as exciting, you know, see it as, through the, the eyes of a child. So there's this new beginning, obviously it has to do with the twin flame connection in the fu future. So you're being, the universe is asking you to take a leap of faith. What is in the future position? Wow, he's a cop. Awesome, oh my god. So, two aces in the future. So the ace of cups um, comes with conditions. It only shows up when you are ready to receive true love into your life. So you've forgiven the, yourself, forgiven others, let go of the past, right? So that's why we got that double king of cups there. This is somebody who's ready to feel love. Give it and, and receive it. The eight of water, eight of fire, and nine, nine oh, sorry, knight of pentacles. Now, <clears throat> I was just remembering that in the twin flame reading, um, the message from the universe was um, true love, right, and, and going after your heart's desire. So, very cool synchronicity, eight of wands, again, this was showing up in your past position, letting go, moving on, leaving those things that no longer serve you you know, and embarking on a spiritual journey. So we can see that you've been on that journey for some time now and you've great, gained great wisdom. The Eight of Wands, communication, right? Texting, phone calls, Cupid's arrows. So this is an accelerated energy. This is somebody, you know, stepping on the gas pedal. You see the finish line, you're about to arrive there. So this is spiritual manifestation. And so the future position is the Knight of Pentacles. So this is um, very slow, steady movement. And, and the Knight always arrives at his destination. The Knight of Pentacles does. Um, and so this is r reminding me of in your present position for the Twin Flame, um, you had slow and steady, right? So again, it's, it's hearkening back to this fact that you've been on a journey for such a long time that you know, there's this stable, grounded foundation that's there, and it's in true love, right? And so this could mean that you're about to arrive, right? But, um, yeah, you need to make that choice to take that leap of faith. That's what I'm feeling with that. All right, so let me pull one card um, from Myths and Mermaids, and that will be your final message from the universe. Naughty Mermaid. So number 41.
Okay, so it says, your facade projects a hurting heart, detached from love, a self apart, yes. Is that what you felt inside, or is it a front veneer of pride? Okay, so again, that Four of Cups, Eight of Swords, you're projecting this broken heart, right? The wounded warrior, the tower, um, the, um, you know, the Sacro Chakra as well, the Eight of Cups, all this energy of disconnection is all coming from the past. But you're projecting this energy, but is it real? Others ask, of course they do, what I have longed to ask you too. From where does this disdain arise? Why have you such conceited eyes? A contemptuous mermaid lounges in her pool, bored with her company and letting it show. She displays her disdain openly and comes across as conceited, detached, and catty through her facial expressions, body language, and aura. So the meaning is to take a long, hard look in the mirror. It is time to step back and take a long, hard look in the mirror, literally and figuratively. What are you saying to the world? Does your outward appearance reflect the inner you? Are you portraying yourself the way you want to be seen by others? Do you appear professional, unique, mature, quirky, or is your look just convenient? This is a good time to update your personal style with revamped wardrobe, new hairstyle, or perhaps sharp new accessories. This is also a time to think about your body language. Do you come across as open and friendly, sarcastic and stuck up, frumpy and sloppy? Pay attention to your posture and your physique, as well as your facial expressions. Smile a little more, and great things may open up to you. Okay, so express your emotions. Feel that connectedness. You know, clear that blockage, right? Expand yourself. It's a beautiful beautiful reading. All right, I do hope this helped you guys, and uh, please leave a comment, like, or share, and um, subscribe if you haven't yet. All right, cheers, guys. Peace.